So as markets continue to drop and present huge dip buy opportunities, the question a lot of people are asking is, well, is now the time to buy into the dip? Well, one thing that I wanted to share with you is what one politician is doing. And yes, it's one of the greatest insider traders of all time, and that is Nancy Pelosi. So if you guys are subscribed to our free weekly newsletter, you would have seen that it was just reported that Nancy Pelosi sold Microsoft and on the same day of July 26th, she purchased more NVIDIA. And the amount that she ended up selling, which was about like half a million dollars to a million dollars, is what she ended up buying NVIDIA with. The really interesting about this is, again, this was a trade that actually took place on July 26th, but politicians do not actually have to report their trades uh, until or they have 45 days after they actually take the trade. So that being said, she gave herself some grace period from July 26 to uh, one of the most recent filings where she submitted that she actually took the trade. With that being said, on July 26, we could see that the average trade price was right around 113 to 114 dollars per share. That means that by at one point today, based off of how much Nvidia ended up selling off, she was down about 20%. So she invested a million dollars into NVIDIA. She lost about $200,000. But for those that have been watching Nancy Pelosi trade NVIDIA very closely, you know that she has a lot more than a million dollars invested into NVIDIA. Um, and obviously, it's something that she's deciding to invest in long term. And she's not the only one. There's actually a lot of politicians that are investing in those specific type of companies. I was actually thinking about making a video on the stocks that are most commonly being invested by politicians. You guys let me know down in the comment section if you guys would like me to put that video together. But with that being said, I wanted to put myself in Nancy's shoes and ask myself one simple question. Well, if Nancy Pelosi, someone that obviously has access to a lot of information that maybe the average person does not, believes in NVIDIA so much that she sells all of her other positions to fund one, and that is NVIDIA, Maybe it's something that I could uh, consider buying the dip on. So what exactly would it potentially yield in a return? Well, based off of the current price level of 103.50, if it were to return to highs of 141.50, this thing would offer about a 36% ROI. So then we can begin to really plug it into our risk to reward ratio calculator and get in with our proper entry, exit, stop loss, figure out our risk to reward ratio and with how many shares we want to trade it with exactly what it would yield. But at a 34 to, uh, let me just uh, double check, with a 34% ROI, it wouldn't be much of a surprise that again, with $10,000, that would be about $3,400 in potential return if the trade actually goes according to plan. If I make this trade with about $100,000, this would about be a, about a $34,000 return. Now, the really beautiful thing about this is that it seems like the market is barely in the beginning stages of showing signs of support. Now, it is not certain that markets have to recover. I'm sure Nancy Pelosi, when she took that trade on July 26, what happened today was not something that she had in her forecast. With that being said, things can get worse before they get better. So currently at a trade price of one. 103.92 we previously hit lows of 92 and could we go even lower for longer well again i'm waiting for indication of an actual reversal i want to see progress above ema i want to see indication of a recovery and yes i might not then make 34 percent but even if i make 15 percent, even half of that right of the 34 percent that it fully offers i would rather get into a position when direction is favorable than rather buy into the dip and hope that it recovers and it never actually does Right now, we are experiencing some form of volatility that has not really presented itself in the past three years. With that being said, I'm just trying to make sure that I approach the market a little bit more carefully. Not saying that that's something that you have to do, but obviously a lot of people were over leveraged at these very overbought levels and they got margin called, they got liquidated, which is why we saw such an aggressive selling pressure in both the stock market and the crypto market. It is very important to respect these overbought and oversold levels and to know when to be heavy in your position and maybe when to be a little bit more careful in being light. I'm really excited to follow with updates. And again, 
again, if you ever want to subscribe to our free weekly newsletter, we send out a politician trade tracker every single Monday right around 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's the first link in the description down below if you ever want to subscribe. And yes, it is for free. If you want to tune on into my live trading session, again, that's going to be the second link in the description down below. And you can sign up today and watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.